Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to easily run SQL Server inside the container with Docker. To run SQL Server instance inside the container, first you need to have Docker installed on your machine. So let's install that first. Open your browser and type Docker download on the browser tab. Now click on the first link that says docker.com. Now click download for Windows option and save it on your machine. Now the download task is done, open your downloads folder and double click the installer to start the installation setup process. If you prefer to have a Docker shortcut icon on your desktop, you can click OK or you can uncheck the box. Also, note that if this is the first time installing Docker on your current machine, you might be required to reboot your machine once or twice during the installation process in order for the Docker to be able to properly register with Windows registry. Now the installation is done, you can close this window. Now open your Docker, accept the agreement. Here in order to get access to the online Docker Hub, you need to have a Docker account. So if you haven't signed up yet, you can create one using your email address by clicking this sign up tab. It is free. But for now, I'm going to click continue without signing in as we are going to pull the image from Microsoft official website. Here you can fill out their quick survey or you can click skip. Now open your browser again and type MS SQL Server Docker image on the browser tab. Now click this link that says learn.microsoft.com. Now scroll down a little bit. Here under pull and run the SQL Server Linux container image section, copy this command and run it on your terminal. If you are using PowerShell or Windows command line, use this command. As you can see, the image has now downloaded to my local Docker. Next, to create a container and run the image inside the container, first open any editor of your choice and copy this script and paste it on your editor and change the password for the SQL Server Administrator user, the container name and the host name. Also, if you have another SQL Server instance currently running on your system, you need to change the host port number to different number that is not currently in use by other processor on your system. The dash D short for detached mode runs the Docker container in the background. So if you omit this option, you won't be able to connect with the container in an interactive mode. For more information about these options, you can check the table of description for the parameters here. Now, if you have edited your script, run it. As you can see, the container has now created in running. You can also view the status of your running containers using this command. And this will list all the running containers with the current Docker.
Next, to connect with SQL Server container from outside using SQL Server Management Studio, open SQL Server Management Studio tool. Choose Database Engine if it is not selected. For server name, you can use localhost followed by comma and the container port number, which is the default SQL Server port number 1433. For authentication method, use SA, short for SQL Administrator User, and enter the password that you have created when you create the container. Now first change the SQL Server Administrator password for the security purpose. To do that, click the security directory. Now expand login subdirectory and double click the SA user. Here you can reset the password, leave everything default as is and click OK. Now you need to log out and log in again using the new password in order to get access to the instance. Now enter the new password that you have created. Now you can create test database. To do that, first activate the query window by clicking the new query tab. Now you can select and right click databases and choose new database. Name your database and leave the rest default as is. Click OK. To see the newly created database, first refresh databases directory. Now expand the database tree. As you can see, the new database is now visible. Next, to connect locally inside the container, create a connection using this command. Here, the dash IT option, short for interactive takes you straight inside the container. The SH option, short for shell, will be used as its main process. Once inside the container, you can connect locally with SQL CMD using its full path. Now enter your new password. If successful, you should get this screen. To test the connection, you can run select statement from sys databases. 